Oh man guys, what is going on today? D Creator here back with another video. If you're watching this video, you have a two valve, a three valve, a four valve, a five valve. What? And you have a misfire. This is a very, very common issues for the modular motors, 96 and up. Whether it is Mustangs, F-150s, Crown Vicks, you name it. If it has a modular motor in it, it might have these problems. This right here is my 1998 V6 Mustang that I swap a Mach 1 motor in it. So it's a 4.6, but we're not working on that today. That doesn't have a misfire. We're actually working on this thing right here. This right here is my buddy's 01 Cobra Mustang. It is definitely a beautiful car, but the engine needs some work. And like I said, it's a very common issue for these Fords to have some type of misfire. This mainly applies to the coil on plug. Each spark plug had their own ignition coil instead of a coil pack. Same rules still apply for the spark plug wires and whatnot. The first thing you wanna do is narrow down the problem of where the misfire might be coming from. Is it from a loose connector? Ford have an issue with their connectors being loose. So make sure you check all the plugs. Just make sure all the pigtails are not broken. Like this right here, this one is broken. But this is not the cause of my misfire. That is a very common issue. If they're broken, go ahead, replace them, fix them, make sure it's good and tight. Another issue might be inside the plug. You see that little green rubber piece in there? Sometimes that get all caught up and want to push the plug out. So it's not really recommended, but if you want to, you could probably pull that out with like a pick or something like that. Just pull it out and plug it back in. And if that's a cause of your issue, it should fix the misfire. I did a 4.62 valve F-150 not too long ago. This was one of the issues it was having. The connector was actually broken. This right here is what it's supposed to be. And that's how it was. Just make sure you double check your coil connectors because that's three problems that we ruled out and we haven't even started up the car yet. Now that we ruled out those three problems, the next thing to do is go ahead, get your keys and start up this bad boy. And I also just want to tell you, just fair warning, bear with us. This is not a great engine. It is Frankenstein together. And we are planning on doing something different with the engine, okay? So just bear with us. I'm gonna give you a cold start, but it's not gonna be pretty. sure you can hear the misfire and also the belt squeaking hang on actually let me fix that you can spray a tiny bit of some type of greasy lubricant there you go smooths it out but with that you can definitely hear the misfire Now, if your belt is making that squeaking noise, I don't recommend just keep doing that. It's your belt, so just go ahead and replace it. This is just to help us listen for the misfire, okay? Now that we got it to quiet down, and we also got it running to operating temperatures, what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start pulling each plug off of each coil. And the reason why we're doing this is eliminating which cylinder is misfiring. This car has eight cylinders, so we need to eliminate each cylinder to make sure. And what we're doing is when we unplug it, it should get worse if it's good. See how bad it is? Then we plug it back up. You see how it's better now? So we're gonna do that with all eight of them until we figure out which one's the issue. All right, so the driver's side is good. Now we gotta check the passenger side. Do the same thing on the passenger side. It might be a little tight because of the cold air intake. Trust me, you'll be able to get it. If you can't get it, you can pull this out. 
give you more room. Just be careful because oil can shoot out. And just go ahead and unplug your coils one by one, figuring out which one is misfiring. The cylinder number two. So when you unplug it, nothing happens when you pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out real quick. Okay, it is unplugged. The idle still the same. I'm going to plug it back up. And the idle still the same. That tells me it's cylinder number two that's bad. Ah, okay, the ignition coil is bad. Hold up. That doesn't mean the ignition coil is bad. That means cylinder two has the misfire. So now we need to figure out is it the spark plug or the ignition coil. So what do we do next? Well now, since we had it running, we need to let it cool all the way down so we don't burn ourselves. And also, we don't wanna mess up the threads on the spark plugs by taking out the spark plugs. That's another issue that Ford has. Ford has an issue of their spark plugs actually shooting out of the block because the threads are weak on it. So when you do spark plugs, if you over tighten them and tighten them too tight, the threads can bend, mess up, and potentially shoot out. If you want to, while it's cooling down, you can go ahead and take off the intake and go ahead and unplug the wires. On the four valve, it's pretty easy on where the wires plug up to. They're pretty much laid out. They can't go anywhere. On some of the two valves, you might want to do them one by one just to make sure that you don't cross up wires. And while it's cooling down, I do want to mention there are easier ways to figuring out where your misfire is. You can use one of these code readers and it'll tell you where the misfire is. And then what you can do is you can either replace the spark plug that's in that area or you can swap out the coils to see if it changes. So since we had the misfire in cylinder two, I'll take this one out, swap it with this one, put this back in here. I think this is cylinder one. I'm not 100% sure. I had to look at the wiring diagram, but I'm pretty sure this is one. But if we swap it, then if we read the code, it should say misfire in cylinder one and it's good in cylinder two. We're not gonna do that because I already know that this is the misfire. So yes, there is a lot easier way of doing this than this trial and error. But if you don't have it, this is what you can do. So this is just to help you out. So now that I got my electric ratchet let's go ahead and take this apart all right guys so let me go ahead and put you on something if you ever go out and get you one of these spark plug sockets with the rubber boot in there don't don't waste your money okay i absolutely hate these type of sockets okay do not waste your money on this let me tell you why the rubber boots in them that's supposed to grab the spark plug out sometimes fails and gets stuck in the engine and you can't get it out so don't ever ever use these either use a magnet to get them out or something completely different i found out an alternative and it doesn't cost you a thing maybe a drink it may cost you three to four dollars and that is a dunkin donut straw or a sonic straw this is a dunkin donut straw so this has been in my tool arsenal for years since i first started building the mach 1 okay and here's the reason why this is the best tool ever so i got the spark plug loosened down there you can't really see it because it's dark but watch this and look at that you can go ahead and pull it all the way out. And this one is cylinder two spark plug. This has a lot of oil on it. So not gonna lie, it's probably not gonna fix the misfire issue permanently. It's probably just gonna patch it up. Yeah, that's a lot of oil. And with this, you might have to consider rebuilding the engine because that means oil is leaking through somewhere, whether it's the rings or the valves, but it's definitely leaking through. We're gonna go ahead and pull all the spark plugs, line them out all in front of the engine, and we're going ahead and replace them as well. That's what he wants to do, just for the time being. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and pull all of them out, and you'll be able to see how they all look. So we got all the spark plugs out. This is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is backwards. This is five, six, seven, eight. So five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, spark plugs are still pretty bad. This is probably the best one 
cylinder four. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and replace them. We might not do the coil pack right now because we might not need it. We're gonna go ahead and do the spark plugs. Coil packs are easy to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the spark plugs and maybe he can save some money. Let's just see. All right, so now we got everything back together. The spark plugs are in. The old coil packs are in right now. So we're gonna crank it up and see what's gonna happen. No, it doesn't sound great right now. I mean, besides the belt, I don't think it's misfiring. See, now it's not making a noise. And before it used to pop and backfire when you rev it up. Yeah, we gotta fix that belt. But dude, it's idling. Much like my Mach 1. Sounds very good. Let's go ahead and see what it does on the test drive. So we're back from the test drive and as you can hear it was still kind of misfiring a little bit assuming the coil pack is bad so we're gonna go ahead and pop that on there but it's starting to get dark right now and since i don't own this car i really don't want to drive it at night a lot of cops drive around through here and i don't want to get pulled over so we went ahead and slapped the new coil on there and i will see you tomorrow to see if this is running right so tomorrow all right, so we cleared out the check engine light, made sure there was no lights on. We also replace that cool, so you can see the gray one right there. And let's start it up and see how it runs. Still idling very, very nicely. Got the pipes exhaust on here. Go ahead, check out pipes exhaust. Use coupon code creators. Get you free shipping. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and go on this test drive and see how it reacts. good I don't think it's breaking up So there you have it guys simple spark plugs and ignition coil that's it a simple trial and error just trying to pinpoint what the problem is it's super easy i hope watching this video helped you guys out trying to figure out and pinpoint what is your misfire if you like the video go ahead and like it go ahead and comment down below what kind of vehicle you're working on go ahead and check out this video right here i guarantee you'll like it as well thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one